Skoda is a brand that divides opinion. Some people are stuck with an image of Eastern Bloc lumps of metal that'll break down at a moment's notice that are poorly made and weigh as much as a bag of crisps. Others, myself included, know that those days are long gone. They know that Skoda produces solid, reliable, fun, well-appointed cars that are pretty much classless. Take the new Octavia, for example, it's based on the Volkswagen Group's MQB platform. Now that means it shares underpinnings with the Volkswagen Golf, the Seat Leon, and the Audi A3, and it looks absolutely brilliant. And in this spec, at least, it's got all the toys you could ever possibly want. And it's got more boot space than any of the above as well. It handles incredibly well too. It is, all told, a very, very good car. But there's one Octavia that stands head and shoulders above the rest for me. The 220 brake horsepower VRS. VRS written on a Skoda's rump means that it's the quick one. The car that's had extra love and care thrown into its development to make it as fun as possible. The first Octavia VRS debuted in 2001 and impressed drivers with its accessible performance twinned with its space and comfort. To celebrate its 10th birthday, Skoda prepped a Mark II Octavia VRS to go to Bonneville Speed Week. The car reached 227.080 miles an hour and became the fastest 2-litre forced induction production vehicle on the face of the planet. This is the new Octavia VRS and there are two versions you can choose from, a petrol or a diesel. This is the petrol and here are the numbers you need to know. It has a 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged engine with 220 horsepower. 0-62 happens in just 6.8 seconds and its top speed is 154 miles an hour. And if you're a very good boy or girl, you will be able to get 44 miles to the gun out of it. That is, of course, according to Skoda. But what that means is that this is a no-compromise car. You don't need to sacrifice economy for performance or vice versa. It's, it's the best of both worlds. But that's not all you get. No, there are loads of driving modes to choose from. There's normal, which keeps things nice and light, very easy to drive and still quite quick. Then there's eco, which softens the entire car up to eke as many MPGs out of the engine as possible. Then there's sport, which tenses the entire car up. The throttle response becomes more and the, the steering becomes heavier and it all becomes a bit sportier, ideal for a, a crap day at the office, quick commute home. Then there's individual, that's interesting because you can tailor different aspects of the car to your own liking and previously that level of on-the-fly customization was only ever really seen in Audis. So given all the toys, power, setup and what have you, how does this new Octavia VRS compare to the old one? The old Octavia VRS is one of my favourite ever sleeper cars. It looks so unassuming, it was so blisteringly fast. It turns out it was also one of the polices. If you had one in the right shade of blue and drove at 69 miles an hour down the M1, people would just leap out of your way because they assumed you were about to arrest them. But this one, the new one, is just as good. Well, no, I lie, it's actually a little bit better. The extra power is great, you know, the, the engine revs so freely, you put your foot down and bosh, you just fly all the way up the road. And you really do get that little push back in your seat that you get with a, a proper dollop of power. The gearbox is a 7-speed DSG and this has been around for ages, but it's still brilliant. The gear shifts are so seamless and so smooth. You can have this with a manual. But I honestly think, even though I usually go, oh yeah, it would be better with a manual, this gearbox is perfectly suited to this car. If I try to think of a few downsides, well, it's a bit dark in here. I wouldn't mind, say, some brighter plastics on the dash. That, that really would set it off quite nicely because, you know, it's supposed to be a moody, sporty car, but at the same time, I like to smile while I'm going at speed and having fun, and this isn't quite the atmosphere for it. What Skoda's done with the Octavia VRS once again is create a car that has everything you could want and need a car to do. It's fast, it's economical, it's practical, it's roomy and it's fun when you want it to be. And it's not all that expensive and you get loads of kit for your money as well. However, there are still some people out there that have that archaic view of Skoda that still naysay because of some old image of Eastern Bloc rubbish things that fall apart or aren't that good to drive, but they're wrong because Skodas nowadays are effortlessly brilliant. They do what they do incredibly well. They're well made. 
So I have a message for the people with that old view. You're wrong, and I pity you because you're missing out on something truly brilliant.